for the start of this season. A great short dance has them in second place going into this. In all honesty, that they don't really stand a chance of catching the leaders, but they do stand a chance of getting a medal here in Skate America. They've got to be on the top of the game because the Canadians were good. This is Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov from Russia. They've got uh, just about a point and a half margin between them and the Canadians going into the free. they have lovely long flowing edges see the speed over the ice Clever, dangerous for the dismount. Well, a flawless performance from Sinitsina and Kal Salapov. Couldn't really have done an awful lot more than that. And uh, that's the sort of skate they needed to hang on to uh, 
that second position. Will it be enough? I've got to be honest, I, to me, comparing it to the Canadians, I think the quality of skating from these two is probably better than the Canadians, but there was nothing different there, was there? There was no originality, there was, it was a safe program. Well, it, it is a more traditional approach, that, but the, the use of the music, uh, Bocelli's uh, rendition of this piece is, has the rise and fall in it and the shades in it, and they captured that. They captured it with the speed, the flow, the phasing of their lifts, uh, the phrasing of the lifts into it were just perfect and really emphasize the, the high points of the music. It's expansive and yet it's got a deftness of touch. The end of the twizzles was just a minute little bit out. They took a risk on some of those lifts. They're big, but the chemistry between them is evident before they start, after they finish, but also within the routine. Her eye contact, spectacular, makes a massive difference. Very difficult, daring on all the lifts, so pushing that up there. So it, it isn't they're doing something very different, but it's doing something that we might have seen before, but very, very, very well indeed. Yeah, this is their second season competing in the Grand Prix together, and uh, they finished fourth in the Ross Telecom Cup in Moscow. That was their first event together, and uh, then the NHK, which is the last of the Grand Prix events, they finished down in seventh place. So it's the coming out of this. It's one thing to hold that in the drag position, difficult, but really to control the edge with the weight of the lady on you, if you get the balance slightly out, that could really go pear-shaped in a big way. And it's that risk, it's the daring to risk and it coming off which makes the difference. Well, these two training in the USA now in Canton with uh, Marina Sueva there and Oleg Epstein. And uh, they're pleased with that. They've got a couple of deductions in there. They